This is about the second time his cabinet is witnessing a major shaker. At the first instance, nine ministers were shown the way out. They are yet to be replaced when another four, one of them a minister of state, were relieved of their duties. President Gulag Jonathan was said to have been intimated by the affected ministers of their ambition. Hence, there was no need continuing with them. What the president uh, did today was to allow ministers who have uh, indicated interest uh, in pursuing uh, further goals in the polity and in the economy and you know in the life of the country uh, to be allowed to go. Those asked to go include Minister of Police Affairs, Navy Captain Caleb Olu Bolade retired. Some say he is nursing a political ambition in his state. Same for that of Niger Delta Affairs, Mr. Gats Day Urubebe. Not much is known of the political ambition of the Minister of State for Finance, Dr. Urima Ngama. But of all those affected, perhaps the most popular is the Vision Minister, Ms. Stella Odua. Many Nigerians had queried the outcome of the report of the committee set up to investigate the $255 million car scam in her ministry. Allegations do not necessarily mean guilt. And I think the press should always take some time to be patient. You know, the, the truth of the matter is that they left because they indicated interest uh, in playing deeper roles in the politics of the country and the president has decided to uh, let them go. That's the point. The president was said to have commended them for a job well done. He also asked the Minister of State for the FCT, Mrs. Olajimoke Akinjide, to now oversee the activities in the Police Affairs Ministry. Dr. Ngozi Okonjiwala is in full charge of the Ministry of Finance. The Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs has a Minister of State, Mr. Darius Ishaku, while the Minister of State for Industry, Trade and Investment, Mr. Samuel Otam, now oversees the aviation ministry pending the appointment of new ministers. Chukuma Omiokusi, Channels Television News.